All right, everyone, you know what time it is. It's time to rank the top world record performances of 2020. And man, these breakthroughs were absolutely mind-blowing. This year saw many great athletes crushing through previously untouchable barriers. So without any more waiting, let's jump into the top 10 world record moments of 2020. Coming in at number 10 is Mo Farah with his new one-hour run world record. With a finishing distance of 21,330 meters, Farah averaged 4 minutes and 32 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 49 seconds per kilometer, to break the previous world record. Over the previous few years, Farah had been focusing mostly on the marathon distance. However, this year, his plan was to return to the track for the Tokyo Olympics. Now, unfortunately, the Tokyo Olympics were canceled, so Farah's 10,000 meter attempt was put on hold. However, he still found a way to run an incredible performance on the track, as this world record took down the previous mark of Haile Geber Selassie back from 2007. Coming in at number 9 is Abebel Yashane, who broke the half marathon world record with a time of 1 hour 4 minutes and 31 seconds. What really impressed me about this performance was that she took down Bridget Koskai, who had been previously untouchable over the past year or so. This finishing time averages out to 3 minutes and 4 seconds per kilometer, or 4 minutes and 55 seconds per mile. Yeah, that is lightning quick. This was just one of many fantastic half marathon moments this year, and if you want to see a few more of them, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. At number 8 is Joshua Cheptegei's 5K road world record, where he ran a stellar time of 12 minutes and 51 seconds. This performance was simply dominant, no one else in the field had a chance, and running up front smoothly but powerfully was Joshua Cheptegei, who strided away into the history books, becoming the first athlete to ever break the 13 minute mark for the 5K distance on the roads. This time averages out to 2 minutes and 34 seconds per kilometer, or 4 minutes and 8 seconds per mile, and it was one of many moments where Cheptegei flexed his absolute supremacy this year. At our number 7 position is Perez Jipchirchir, who won the Half Marathon World Championships this year in world record time. This was an absolutely epic race. Over the final kilometer, it was down to three separate athletes. However, Jepchirchir was not to be denied, as she made a powerful move with about 100 meters to go. And with a superhuman time of 65 minutes and 16 seconds, she broke the women's only world record, cementing herself as one of the greatest half marathon athletes of all time. At number 6 is Latessin Bet Gide and her 5,000 meter world record of 14 minutes and 6 seconds. This was yet another world record that was set in Valencia this year, and goodness did she make it look easy. Over the previous few seasons, we had seen Gide run some fantastic times, however this was clearly her greatest moment of 2020, as she took down the previous world record of Tiranish Dababa back from 2008. With an average pace of 4 minutes and 32 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 49 seconds per kilometer, this placed Gi Day on the forefront of running greatness. And moving into next year's season, it's hard to imagine that she won't win at least one Olympic medal, but the real question is, will she break another world record? At our number 5 position is Joshua Cheptegei's 10,000 meter world record of 26 minutes and 11 seconds. This record was another dominant moment for Joshua Cheptegei this season, as he took down the previous world record by just over 6 seconds from Kenanisa Bekele. With an average pace of 237 per kilometer, or 413 per mile, Cheptegei showcased why he's such a formidable athlete. It's because his endurance is off the charts. Yes, this performance was guided by wavelight pacing, but to be able to hold such a steady rhythm for 26 minutes is nothing short of miraculous. Moving forward, Cheptegei's potential in the 10,000 meters is undeniably impressive, and if he can maintain such worldwide fitness, I very much see him as the athlete to potentially break the 26-minute barrier for the 10,000. Coming in at number 4 is Ronix freaking Kipruto, who ran a 26-24 to break the previous 10K road world record in January of this year. This is the only instance ever that anyone has taken down a world record from Joshua Cheptegei, and to this day I still feel like I'm not fully appreciating this record, because 2624 would already be unbelievable on the track. But this record was on the roads, which clearly makes this one of the most amazing performances this year. 
Whenever I think about this performance, I actually think about one specific comment that someone left on this world record video. I think this really encapsulates the true nature of this record, because even though he ran his opening 5K in 13 minutes and 16 seconds, he somehow managed to run a 13.08 for his closing 5K. So clearly, this was very impressive, this was mind-blowing, Runic Scaprudo's 10K world record at number 4. Coming in at number 3 is Joshua Cheptegei, baby, with his new 5,000 meter world record of 1235.36. Now, the reason why I hold this world record in such high regard is because I think Cheptegei is more of a 10,000 meter athlete. However, the fact that he took down Bekele's previous world record with such an insanely smooth race is simply incredible. I don't think you'll ever see a world record in the 5,000 like this ever again, because over the previous 20 years, most 5,000 meter world records include a very fast closing kilometer with a few slower kilometers in between. However, Cheptegei's pacing was immaculate as he put forward some of the most consistent splits in 5,000 meter history. Coming in at our number two position is Armand Duplantis with a new pole vault world record of 6.18 meters. Now, yes, Duplantis did break the outdoor world record this year. However, this 6.18 meter performance is the highest pole vault in all of track and field history. This makes Duplantis not only one of the few athletes to make it over 20 feet, but it also makes him the youngest athlete to ever hold a world record in the pole vault. For many, many years, we've been waiting for an athlete that could challenge Sergei Bubka, who is still the undisputed all-time greatest. However, Duplantis is clearly a challenger to Bupka's greatness, because even at such a young age, he has proven to be a formidable opponent who is almost impossible to beat. And now, the single greatest world record moment of 2020. Let's just face reality, ladies and gentlemen. Kibiwat Candier's half marathon world record was one of the most mind-bending moments in running history. I remember him coming down the home stretch. I was thinking that maybe he'll sneak under 58 minutes, and if he's lucky, he could get close to 57.50. But 57.32? Are you freaking kidding me? This time was made possible by not only the incredibly deep field in this race, but by Candier's grit and determination. Over the final few kilometers of this race, the pace was ever so slightly decreasing, but the final 5K was all Kibiwat Candier, who pulled away from the entire field and also dropped Jacob Kiplimo, who I must admit, I thought he was unbeatable going into this race. Whether it was the magic of Valencia, the incredibly deep field, or just Candier's true talents, this will forever be remembered as a historic moment for distance running. Personally, I find this as the single greatest world record moment of 2020, and with that in mind, I want to hear from you guys. What would be your list for the greatest world record moments of 2020? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.